So I'm here with Kevin, who's a gardener at the Botanical Garden, standing in front of a rain barrel that you just made. How you doing? Good. How are you today? All right. Now, you make a lot of these things, so you're a pro, right? You're cranking these things out like crazy. Just about. Just about. But, but how long do you think it would take the average homeowner to build one of these things? Uh, as long as you already have the tool knowledge, probably about a half an hour. About how much rainwater can come off of a roof? Per square foot of roof uh, in a one inch rainfall, about a half a gallon of water. So say you have average 2,000 square foot roof and one inch rainfall, you go down 1,000 gallons of water coming off of it. Which if you're not capturing it, is just running off. Exactly. Okay, tell me what I'm looking at right now. Where, where, where's this barrel from? Uh, this is a pickle barrel, probably had olives or pickles or something like that, uh, right. shipping containers. Uh, you can find them online in different places. If you have a recycling center in your area, you could contact them. And about what does something like this cost? Uh, we're getting them for around $15, $20. Right, right. Um, I mean, companies, you can, you can certainly, I mean, there are companies out there that sell these things, but they can be $50, $60, $100 all set up. So and wh while they may look a little nicer than this, I mean, the idea of capturing the water and recycling, I mean, this is reusing something, right? Yes. And right. this is something you can, you can do yourself at home. All right, let's talk about the steps and how you create a rain barrel. Well, to start with, I uh, made a template to cut uh, a hole large enough to slide our basket into. Okay, and what is that? This is a pond basket that you would plant plants to go in your, in your pond. Okay. Um, and we're going to use it here to keep any of the debris that comes through your gutter out of the barrel. So this, after you cut it in, that downspot goes right inside here. Um, keeps, you and I were talking about cats and sometimes can jump up on this. They're yeah. not going to be able to fall it'll, through this. Yeah, it'll keep other wildlife out of there. Squirrel. Um, or whatever might right. be wanting to go in there. And then mosquitoes, what do you do about mosquitoes? Because this, uh, with this here, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it is kind of like a mesh, but a mosquito could go through there. Is there a way to treat that water? Uh, you can get what's called a mosquito dunk, um, which will kill the larvae of the mosquito in the water. So the mosquitoes will get in, but no mosquitoes will be able to breed in And there. that doesn't matter as far as the quality of the water for the plants? No, it doesn't affect your plants whatsoever. Okay, so you cut the top of the lid, the next step, we're going to drill a 15 16 hole in the side down the bottom for the spigot. The threads on the spigot that we're putting in are about an inch. So we're going to drill a hole slightly smaller than that with an auger bit and then screw the spigot in. So you're really sort of forcing that in and in a way creating your old threads, right? Right. The threads are slightly larger than the hole we drilled and they're biting into the plastic in the barrel. Right. And then sometimes you use glue, right? Or, or you could use a little caulking on the threads? Sure. If, if, if you feel there's going to be a problem with a leak or if you do develop a leak, something along those lines would, would be just fine. Now, um, we have this thing up on a little bit, a little table, and I, know, I notice here at the Botanical Gardens, you have several of these throughout. It's a good idea to elevate these things so you can actually get a, a jug under there, right? Or a hose or... Yeah, it'll be easier to get uh, a watering can underneath there. Also, elevation gives you more water pressure to get the water out of the barrel. Yeah. And then you guys, you, you take it's a time to paint them too as well if you want. I mean, you can, right? It's... You can paint them whatever color you want. Several paint companies are coming out with a pre-primered paint for plastic. Right. To keep the algae down, the, the more opaque you can get the barrel, the better. Right. So you got about 20 bucks in a recycled barrel. And if you had to guess, what do you have in materials? Uh, 25, 30 at top. Total. Yeah, including the basket, the spigot, and the barrel. Something you can do yourself. It's a great way to reclaim that water, and uh, you can take it around, do it, water your plants, do just about anything with it, and you're saving money on water and helping the environment all in one. Exactly. Sounds like a pretty good deal. All right, I got another green thing.